Hi, I'm Nicola Cairncross. Hi, hello, hey, hi. I'm going to talk to you about success. Welcome to the V-Zine. Coming to you today from the balcony as usual and I wanted to start the V-Zine off with wearing a snorkeling mask. This is not my snorkeling mask, it's my daughter's. It's a bit small and tight to be fair but uh, I wanted to do that to oh, illustrate a point to you because I've talked a lot about the things I've been scared of in Greece, the serial killers, the insects, um, sleeping with the windows open, that sort of stuff. And um, I wanted to talk to you a bit more about my last anxiety, which was swimming over rocks. I've had this fear of swimming over rocks with seaweed on since I was a child for a long time. And uh, that is a long time. And um, basically what I wanted to do was get over that fear. So I thought to myself, let's break this down. Let's just get the file out in, in effect. And let's just find out what I could do to take baby steps towards conquering this fear. So the first thing was to go and buy myself one of these. I don't actually know what's happened to mine, it must be in the car. But um, I went and bought myself one of these and I immediately dipped my head under the water. And I knew there were fish in the water, but I didn't know, I wasn't bothered about the fish so much, but I didn't know what else was under the water. I could see there were dark bits and that's all I knew really. So what I did was I dipped my head under the water and suddenly this whole world of amazing fish and rocks and coral and sand and lovely sparkling light came to me and I, I suddenly was in a whole different world so I practiced using the snorkel and, and the um, breathing thing what's it called the snorkel in fact the mask and the snorkel for a while and I started doing that in water that I was in my depth so I could put my feet down if I needed to and as I got more confident I ended up going swimming closer and closer to the bank of rocks and I knew that these rocks came up to um, near the surface because you can actually see people standing on them talking to each other they you know, just casually swim out stand on the rocks so I knew that they came up quite near the surface at one point and for some reason I had a real big anxiety of getting trapped somehow in that bit where the rocks come up near the surface it's like oh, what what was I like anyway so I circled around these rocks for a few days with my new mask and snorkel and um, I found that I was getting braver and braver and then suddenly one day I just swam across them and I've even found the bit where you stand up and have a chat with your neighbour. So I think that's um, a really good example of just taking baby steps and taking baby steps and trying to get more and more used to the thing that you want to achieve. So similarly with online marketing, you know, I've talked last week about how one of the first things I have to do is unravel all the confusion and overwhelm that people feel in my Clicks and Leads Academy to help them to take the first steps. And I think that's one of my real um, skills is trying to help people identify what their first steps are. So in my case, I wanted to get over the fear of swimming over dark rocks and seaweed and one of the first steps I took was to think to myself okay well if I know what's down there I might not be so scared of it and um, so how can I find out what's down there how can I see for myself what's down there and it was as simple as going and buying a 23 euro mask and snorkel and then within a week I'd conquered the last real big anxiety I've got about living out here actually you know of swimming anywhere for, and now I've got a new skill I can snorkel anywhere in the world and see lots of amazing fish and coral so I'm looking forward to that as you may hear from the background noises the kids are here they arrived and I had to get over another anxiety in in that I wanted to go and pick them up at the airport so I had to hire a car even though I haven't driven for about a year and they gave me a stick shift car but by the time I'd done the 45 minutes to Kalamata airport on the new bypass um, and the zigzaggy route just to get to the bypass I was quite comfortable with the car and then um, I ended up having to exchange that car for an automatic which is a lot easier to drive but I successfully achieved my goal which was picking up Phoebe and Nelson and bringing them to my house to stay for 10 days so we're all off down the beach this afternoon together on to the rest of the show shall we
Hi everyone, it's Nicola here and I thought I'd better just explain what I'm doing with this Be Everywhere Online 12 week challenge. I'm coming to you from my home in Greece here, which is really rather splendid. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I follow my own Be Everywhere Online principles, which means to create a bit of content every week and then leverage that bit of content over to um, your blog, your Facebook page, your Facebook profile, Instagram, YouTube and everywhere else, Twitter, etc. Recently, I've being, being approached by more and more content creators who want to learn how to be everywhere online just like I have because um, within a few months, a couple of months even, of starting this process in January I was starting to attract clients of all kinds, uh, um, clients for my mentoring membership and clients for consultancy days and all sorts of things like that. So it really does work. I've used it to launch my latest business, I used it to launch three previous businesses and I know it works because I use it myself. So the, um, the inquiries just started coming and a lot of people signed up for my Be Everywhere Online webinar which is free obviously and you can still catch it online at beeverywhereonline.com but then what a lot of people found was they signed up for the course and something still stopped them from taking action even though they had it all set out um, step by step, week by week, you know what to do this week, what to do the next week and um, something was still stopping them taking action so I thought the best thing to do would be to uh, show you all how it works in a practical basis. Obviously I couldn't show you my particular case study because I hadn't recorded it as I went along. Then I was on a beach in Stupa just down the road there and uh, one of my friends here from my creative writing club introduced me to her daughter-in-law who is very big in radio especially in the Manchester uh, area where the BBC's now moved to and so she was talking to me about her troubles with getting her online course up and running and you know her website and how she didn't have any subscribers or followers or, or her Facebook page was not doing anything for her the usual story basically and I the more I got to know this person the more I realized what um, a dynamite person she would be in front of the camera as well as on radio so I said to her do you ever do any video and it turns out she does she's very comfortable presenting she's very comfortable on video so I thought if I was going to do a case study for my Be Everywhere Online system um, she would be a perfect person to do it with so we struck a deal and we started to work together and it's been you know just over the last sort of three or four weeks and I thought something came to me one morning it's not too late to turn this into a 12 week challenge and to get you guys to follow along so um, what I'm going to do is we're going to record a video with Kate every week to talking about what we've done what results it's had and how she feels about it and I'm going to create a um, worksheet every week because I won't do it otherwise because <laughs> it's one of those jobs I don't like but if I'm doing it for, for a challenge it's that's my challenge and I'm going to create a worksheet of what you should do every week and then I'm going to put it all inside my private Facebook group and it's going to be completely free and you can join in and you can use this 12 weeks to you know do the challenge yourself to follow along do what we've done every week and get yourself moving with social media marketing because social media marketing it's not just about retweeting and resharing other people's stuff anymore. It's about creating your own content, but doing it in such a way that it's leveraged to make you be everywhere online and to let your potential clients and customers know who you are, what you do and what you can do for them. And this is my way of celebrating the renaming of my mentoring membership site from Inner Circle to the Clicks and Leads Academy. Um, I feel that's a name that sums up much more accurately what I do inside there. Um, what's inside there is video trainings, like the Be Everywhere Online training as well as my Ultimate Facebook Ads training and my Best Year Yet training and also people get um, help from me as, as many questions as they like and they can also um, ask me private questions in a private coaching track. We also have weekly um, live call-ins on Zoom so it's video and you can see people all side by side which is really cool. So um, yeah I was looking for a name for it, I've come up with a name for it and I was thinking how can I celebrate and doing a 12 week challenge where I help lots of you get everywhere online would be a really cool thing to do. All you need to do now to follow along is to come along to nicolacairncross.com forward slash BEO hyphen challenge and you'll put your name and email in and then you'll be jumped to where you can join my private group. You can watch the videos to date, you can download the um, transcriptions and you can also download your worksheets for week one. I hope you're going to join us, it'd be really cool if you did and I'll speak to you soon.
So on the podcast last week, I was again joined by a guest podcast host and we talked about um, delegating versus abdicating. This person works in a, not a digital agency as such, but she helps clients to get online and uh, she too experiences the problem where people expect to be able to hire someone in the Philippines for about a fiver and expect them to do everything, including making strategic decisions about their business. Um, I've been working with one of my top level clients about finding a general VA this week and um, the general VA will then be teaching themselves how to use for various bits of kit because my client had the perception that he would have to train them how to do everything and I said no that's not how it works. A very good quality VA will train themselves how to do things as long as there's video tuition and then they will go and recruit specialists because for example or someone on Facebook was looking for someone to do social media management and Facebook ads for them and I said well that's two roles, two very specific roles and two very different skill sets. So I was saying to my client, if you can get a general, good general VA, then they can go and find and recruit people who've got those skill sets and they can um, put them into action for you without you having to train every single one of your team. So that's what the theme of the week's been really on the podcast as well as in my own life and in the Clicks and Leads Academy. So yeah, just try and think of terms of hiring experts to do a specific task but then combine those tasks into a project and then your general VA, who is an intelligent person who can communicate with you effectively, is your project manager in effect. Um, and that's, what, that's how you go about building a team who can put your ideas into action. So I hope that helps and come over to the podcast at onlyatthepodcast.com forward slash 145 and um, also come over to the blog to see last week's VZine and find out what we're up to in Stupa. Speak to you later. Bye.